Hello everyone. In this video, you will learn how to send customized WhatsApp messages through Excel with recipient's name in bold, line break, and image as attachment, just as we do in mail merge. So watch the video till the end. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. As you can see here, I have opened an Excel file. There is a list of phone numbers with country code in column B. Country code is must. Without it, you will not be able to send messages. In the next column, column C, here we will concatenate our final message from column D, E, and F. In column D, we have our greeting message, Hi, Respected Sir, Hello, Hey. In column E, we have recipient's name, Cinderella, Paul Adam, Mom, Dad. In column F, we have our main message. So we will concatenate D, E, and F into C to get our final draft. Let's go to cell C2. Insert equals sign. Select D2. Now in function bar here, we will enter AND shortcut key. Then double inverted comma. Now long press spacebar. Again double inverted comma and again and shortcut key. And now copy this from here to here. We have long pressed spacebar because we want this to create a line break while sending our messages in WhatsApp. If you want to send recipient's name with bold letters, then enter double inverted comma, asterisk, again double inverted comma and shortcut key. Now select E2, enter and shortcut key, double inverted comma, asterisk, again double inverted comma, and now paste the copied text here. Select F2 and press enter. Now select this cell C2 and drag it till the end or just double click it. Finally, our customized messages are ready. Now let's move to VBA. In your Excel file, here you can see a developer tab. But if you don't have a developer tab, then click here on File, click on Options, click on Customized Ribbon, place a check at this developer checkbox. Press OK. Now you can see the developer tab here. Click on developer tab. Move your cursor here at Visual Basic. As you can see, the shortcut key for opening Visual Basic is Alt plus F11. Click on Visual Basic. A new window will appear. Click on Insert button. Select Module. A new blank module will be created. Now copy the VBA file from the description below and paste it here and save it. Come back to Excel file. Click on File, Save as, select your desired location. A new window will appear. Click on Save as Type. Select Excel Macro Enabled Workbook from the drop-down and save. Now let me explain you how our macro will work. Open the module we have saved earlier, Alt plus F11. As you can see here, I have defined some variables. WhatsApp number, last recipient number, X, message, dispatch message and whatsapp web so what is last recipient number last recipient number is the last number from the list of whatsapp numbers in column b as you can see here we have four recipients number so our last recipient number will be this fourth one if we have 50 recipients number 
then our last recipient number would be 50th one. And like this, the value will change automatically as per number of recipients. Now let's move to our next variable x. We have defined x as row number. From here, our macro will start messaging till the last recipient number. For example, here we have 4 recipients number and we want to send message from this third row. So here in the module, we will change the value of x from 2 to 3 and it will skip this second row and it will start taking recipients number and messages from third row. Now here we have defined the location of recipients whatsapp numbers and their messages. So as we have our recipients whatsapp numbers in column B of sheet 1. So here we will write sheet 1 in range we will write column B because we have these numbers in column B. If we have these numbers in column C or any other column we would have changed it accordingly. And now X is the row number which we have already defined earlier. Similarly, we will follow this same pattern for defining the location of messages we want to send. Here we will write sheet 1 as our customized messages are in column C of sheet 1. And in range, we will write column C. And again, X is the row number which we have already defined earlier. Now, one thing we can add here is, if you want to share any image with your message, then Open Excel, go to Insert tab, Pictures, select the location, click on Insert. And in the module here, type activesheet.shapes1.copy. If you don't want to send any image, then just delete this code. And only text message will be sent to the recipients. Dispatch message is defined as it will take recipients whatsapp number, their custom message, then it will open whatsapp web application and it will send messages to its respective numbers. Here we have set time intervals of 5 seconds for copying and sending messages respectively. Please note, do not change these time intervals and it would be better if your number is known to the recipient as changing of this time intervals and unknown numbers may lead to blocking of your number by whatsapp itself now next x it will create a loop and next message will be sent one by one till the last recipient number receives its message now let's install whatsapp web application Open your browser, type whatsapp.com slash download. Click on download for windows. Save the file. Run it once it is downloaded. Login by scanning QR code and here our whatsapp web is installed. Now. Let's come back to our excel sheet 1 and let's create a send button. Go to insert tab. Click on shapes. Select any shape from the drop down. Draw it here. Right click. Click on edit text. Type send. Do some formatting. Make it bold, align it, again select shape, right click, select assign macro, a window will appear, click on excel to whatsapp, click ok, our send button is created. Now finally it's time to execute our macro, to execute our macro press send button as we can see here. Our macro is opening whatsapp web application. If it asks for permission, click on allow and place check on do not ask again. Okay. 
our macro is typing message and it is attaching the image and message is sent now next recipe as you can see here after each message we have a line break and our recipient name is in bold letters finally one by one all the messages are sent to their recipients respectively so if you like this video please subscribe and comment below thank you